one on a car guy, one on a car guy.com. Woke up and had bad hair day. The cowboy hat was sitting there right on the way out the door. Easy way to make an intro to a video. This is just the people picking up some stuff. Um, we're getting some stuff out of here. Sold that um, blazer a year ago almost. Guy's coming to pick it up. Um, sold a uh, tractor, a backhoe in this video. All these parts out here and stuff. Doesn't look that organized, but it's getting there. And I'll tell you what, even that little bastard ate my plants. They're getting taller too. They are actually still growing. So we'll see what happens there. And look at the pile of ants. I wonder if they'll. No, they're half dead, man. Just a pile of ants. Look at the pile of ants. That's crazy. Already had someone going, oh, you can't just kill animals. It's a rock chuck, man. It's environment. It's eating my stuff and protecting my farm. Anyways, enjoy the video. Nice Sunday morning. Um, hope you're enjoying your weekend. Had a great 4th of July. Here we go. Looking for keys. How's it going? Good. Who are you? That's what I figure. I've seen the trailer. <laughs> ah, he didn't lock into this morning anyways. No, I've been looking for my keys and everything. My woman's looking inside. You want to take a look at where you could... Huh. You know, I think if you pull it in straight towards here, um, it'd be the best way. And we'll just drive it around. You can pull it on whichever way you want. We'll just drive it on your truck right here. Okay. Um, you want to look at what he bought real quick? or We'll start yanking it out and stuff. It's going to take a little bit to yank it out. And you live in Lolo? Yeah. Oh, cool. He's in, isn't it Big Sandy? Yep. So, skid steer moving. So oh, it was inside? Oh. I used to have about 115 of them. Yeah. Oh, cool. In Wisconsin. Oh, that's. You get ready to haul it out here. I got a big brokerage account with um, Central Dispatch, and they get pretty cheap shipping on the side without a broker. This is her. It's clean. It runs for about. I couldn't figure it out on the way home. It runs for about. Nine, ten minutes, and then runs out of gas. You feel that way. You pull over, you look, there's gas in the filter. You try and start it, won't start. Wait a minute or three, boom, fire right up, run back down the road for ten minutes. Reese, is it your brother? Brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. He figured it was vapor lock type thing, and so did my guy. But we never got into doing much. There's a brand new Idlebrock carb. They're getting rare. In fact, I could have sold this thing 10 times over. You wouldn't believe the people thought, well, they see this old junk and they stop in for this or that. But probably 20 minutes or so, we'll get a cranked up and poop out here. I see I missed your call. I'm sorry, it was inside. I'm, get out here. If I, don't, if I don't leave my phone inside, okay, then I don't get out. nothing done. <laughs> and then I end up missing people. I'm not meaning to. Okay, he has picked it up. He's done. And... The kid came out and had you sign something, I think, right? Okay, cool. Awesome. If you guys need anything else, let me know. I'll send his paperwork into, what's it, not Custard, that's what over there? Shoto? Shoto County? Shoto. Yeah. Um, yeah, cool. So does the title go with the paperwork? Title work all goes over there to the, uh, the county, and then he'll just go down to the county here in about two weeks, and they'll have it all ready to go. You just walk in and... What about the uh, keys? Where did you put the keys? Yeah. Got the box in there. Let me check with Rich. Cool, thanks a lot, man. Let me know if you need anything. Let's check. <laughs> I'm never going to double down on my, my own memory there. I'm 99% sure. Yeah. Good job. Have fun, man.
Okay, another one. Bites the dust. He was a fire. No, he's his brother-in-law. But it's kind of funny, huh? No, he, it wasn't tied down that neat, just like you said too. He's the popo. He knows what he does. You don't want to tell them nothing. I asked him about the as is stickers though. He goes, who's giving a ticket for that? Highway Patrol? There's a little bit of animosity between Highway Patrol and the Popo. Oh yeah, because well, the Highway Patrol is a private company and they got all kinds of fucking shit in their cars. And a private company. The Montana Highway Patrol is a, is a non-profit organization contracted by the state of Montana. Really? Yep. You notice they don't have state plates? There's plates and radio and they say they have to on. They got orange. Where, did you leave the instructions for this inside? In, there. in here? You threw them back in? Well, we got a couple guys here looking at stuff. My dad's got them looking at the Champ forklift. Supposedly they're interested in my Dodges as well. Getting the King Ranch detailed out. And this piece of junk. But this piece of junk's worth something to someone. I think I got my camera on. We'll just see what he's doing. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Yeah, the track goes in the hydraulics and then just yeah. sort of come along on the ROT. You need to ask him about that Dodge Dooley up there. <laughs> Tell him what it actually It's got the 440. It's the 440, whatever the posi is in a Dodge, and the lockers or whatever. In the, yeah. Yeah. That's that's about that. It's a pretty cool truck. Runs good. I don't want to, I want to restore it, but I don't want to paint it. I might have just kind of yeah. clear it like that and make that's it that. Yeah, I like that look, man. Dude, Steve engine's a good engine. You just have to open it up and. Which one is it? That Dutz, the Dutz, diesel, yeah. you know, air cooler. Yep. You can't beat the engine. Actually, if you had, if you had fixed that motor, I don't think it'd take that much. Well, I want to get to detail in this truck. And dirty hands, clean money. Huh. All right. We'll go with that. Maybe they were trying to throw someone off or something, huh? I don't know. Dirty hands, clean money. Dirty hands, clean money. That's what it says in the window of that truck. I'm thinking they were trying to throw someone off the, the scent with that. They probably had clean hands, dirty money. Well, as you see, somebody mud bogged the hell out of this thing. And there's like mud literally on every panel. Um, I don't want to get none in the air intake, but I actually want to have the rig running while I do this. So it's gonna be a, a different little ordeal here. The truck seems to run good. That might be the ticket right there. Actually just attach this unattached. I like that. I like that better than not having anything on it. Look at these wheel wells, man. And with something like this, it takes soaking. Don't just start trying to blast it off. Put some water on it. Let it sit there. Happens to come off right away. I got a question. The keys in this? I don't know. Okay, 
Well, I'm gonna have to move it. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get it wet after you got all this work into it. You gotta get all this mud off, or who's gonna want this? Look at that. Well, lots of, look at all the mud. Mud and crud. This thing is so dirty in it, well not no more. But I'm gonna have to wait. Look at all the, watch this. Look at the chunks in the back. But I've got most of it done. Look at this. But now it's so wet, I can't get under the truck no more. So I'm gonna go and do some stuff and come back. We'll see how it goes. Yeehaw. Well, that was it. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, like, comment. I'll be back tomorrow. I might even upload another one today. Who knows? Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.